Come quick, everyone. I have something to show you. No, silly. Not that way. This way. I came into my room today, and I noticed a glowing object on the ceiling. We don't know where it came from. It just showed up one night. Word. But I think it may be some form of bioluminescent platypus, latching itself onto the very slab of stuff under which I do my business. No, not that business. Just the regular business. I called in an expert to confirm. Yeah, I think what you got here is a lot fixture. I wasn't convinced, of course, so I got a second opinion. That, I would say, is most likely a lot fixture. Such a claim has been made before. How can that do? I haven't the slightest clue how to answer that. With such malarkey brandished about like a belligerent shillelagh, there was only one thing to do. Challenge it to a fight. I challenge it to a fight. Lucky for Platypie existence wide, it prevailed. That's when I was absolutely convinced that it wasn't a light fixture, so I called in my best insectal friend in the whole wide world for assistance. Why did you call me back? I was almost to the car. My armored car? Because you're my best mothy friend in the whole wide Virgo supercluster. We stick together through thick and thin. Don't you remember Soy Lessethin camp? Just before we started third and a half grade? I remember lots of stuff, not least of which is our obvious and very close friendship, <laughs> that not a single viewer of Toho Kingdom Tunes could have possibly missed. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson is my other friend. You don't mess with him, and nobody messes with me, Conan Antonio Menda. So we went to see the glowing object again, but this time, here was the one place it wasn't. Some say it never were. Others were to never say. But in the end, we all learned a very valuable lesson, that we should always check the camcorder we use to record ourselves sleeping. I am now going to prove that I can eat an entire Reuben sandwich in under 25 minutes. Whoops, wrong tape. A bioluminescent platypus. I was right. A monotreme to the extreme. Now do you trust my instincts? My best lepidopter and friend in the whole wide multiverse? Manda, I will never underestimate you again, unless it proves comedically beneficial to the situation. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's monitoring.